Hi, welcome to Chainmail Bikini. Uh, this is your host, Jen. You can follow me on Twitter at Trickster. That is T-R-I-X-T-E-R. -E just like the character name up here, but without the little X's on the end, because I've been on Twitter a long time. Um, I am taking a closer look this time uh, as part two of our feature on the MMO Scarlet Blade, uh, notorious for being female-centric in the way that's not really female player-oriented, as you can kind of see from the character that I created in part one, who is stretching for us. Uh, let's take another look at the character creation here. And this time, let's take a look at the Royal Guards. Now, as we covered last time, it's all exactly the same characters. I was sort of tempted to see if maybe I could see how long I could play a Sentinel without having to go scour myself in a hot shower. Uh, let me remind you of which one the Sentinel was. Sentinel. Quick as lightning and deceptively non-threatening by design. Most enemies won't know what hit them until it's too late. Yeah. Uh, considering the lack of armor that my character on the character selection screen previously was wearing, and that was not because I dressed her that way, but because it looks like to get this full armor set you have to actually go through multiple quests, you unsurprisingly start out in your lingerie. I don't think I can play her. Uh, she's kind of pervert bait, so I'm gonna go... Medic, the only arcana with a healer's touch. This battle angel shoulders the responsibility for the lives of her entire party. Now, at least she looks possibly somewhere in the vicinity of 18. Uh, as I mentioned before, completely unrealistic costume, but other than that, it's kind of cute. So let's Let's take a look at our options for her. Let's get a little closer in. You can see she's got... Well, she's one of the few characters who actually has her areola showing where it should be because, I mean, come on, these costumes. Uh, let's look at some of our presets. Aw, she can ha... Okay, that's that's too cute. I, I don't know if I can deal with that. She's got adorable little glasses. She's got little crosshair things. Let's see what our other options are. Eh, kind of plain. Kind of plain. Purple hair, otherwise kind of plain. Cute hairband. Uh, again, pervert bait. Not bad. <laughs> okay, I like that she's got... That, that almost... That just reminds me of an H for hospital, so there's there's a certain quality to that. That one seems to have diamonds, diamond-tipped hair, I don't know. Let's take a look at our options for this one. Uh, that's the presets if we... Well, that's right, we can use pretty much any of these and still get glasses. And then come down to the hairstyle and get that hair. Okay, we're creeping, creeping down the body here. <laughs> She's got glowing high heels that, uh, you know, healer, healer, sweetie, you're, you're already a, a target. You don't need to be more of a target. So we've got the diamond tipped hair. We've got, well, there's the hospital H's. I think she just needs a more interesting hair color is the thing. Now, this is pretty nice in that it gives you a pretty serious selection down here. You can just sort of click around and there are a lot of different color options, so you can go with just about anything you like. Now, part of me wants to question the realism of these, but currently my hair is somewhere around this shade in real life, so uh, I can't, I can't really speak to that. Uh, let's... I, I could go with sort of a 
white hair with this. Or maybe... maybe black? I kinda wish I could change the color of her glasses frames. I suppose we could go with no glasses frames. God, boring. Oh, now she looks like Minmei. No! No! Yeah, why not? I'm I'm going to be very nice and not start singing My Boyfriend is a Pilot. Which I have been known to do occasionally just to be cruel. I kinda like that. We'll go with that. That's nice. Now here are our clothing choices, such as they are. So that one's A. That one's B. Also got the <laughs> the appropriate amount of pink showing. So that's that's it's a pet peeve of mine. When people draw really super revealing stuff, and like I said in in the first part of this. It's basically playing up the anatomy while also glossing over the anatomy. It's it's cheating! It's cheating is what it is. This is actually pretty great, though it doesn't really help dispel the Minmay look. Uh, she's got glowing things on her shoes now, so that's... Uh, let's see what her laundry looks like. All right. Yep, that's, uh, that's some lingerie. Yeah, actually, on, uh, I know I said I really like this, I like little wings about it. I think I like this one a little better. Let's go with that. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be so taken. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's not gonna let me do it. Duh, I'm gonna be that jerk. Again, it's not exactly like I'm on an RP server here, or even like I'm going to play this for more than a night. So here's Miss Minmay. Let's take her on her first adventure. Just show me where it hurts. Uh, oh. Oh. Any voice. Alright, so same thing. We've got a girl with the adorable little glasses and atrocious amounts of underboob saying tatas for now. No 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 all that that looking around like she was doing there was definitely Minmay esque. Actually I guess the oh that's I don't know if that's disappointing or not. It seems to be that you as the player are the commander. So the character isn't really your avatar. They really are just somebody who you're controlling. That's that's kind of disappointing. Ruin in my immersion in my XX. All right, let's run over here. Grow there are so many pretty things on the surface. I wish there weren't so many ugly and scary things too. Uh, okay, bunny girl. So, as a commander, they are biologically inclined to notice your qual qualities. <sighs> Carrying on. At this point, it there's- I'm not seeing a lot of separation between factions here. I mean, Bunny Girl here is still Bunny Girl. 
Vera is still the weapons quartermaster. Looks like they could not really be bothered to uh, create different experiences for the different factions. They were too busy with their past physics. Actually, I kind of want to skip the hit the skip button on that one just to spite her. <laughs> Look at this <laughs> lovely stuff popping up in chat already. Are you running Burning Crusade here? I don't Let's go to Vera. Oh well, someone here has has got their their social justice vibe going. Oh my goodness, does that mean that there's is there a swear filter in this game? Why would there be a swear filter in this game? <laughs> Alright then, because you know, this, this is great, this is, this is just fine and dandy, but, but don't say fuck. Don't, that's, that's offensive. That's too much. Anyway, let's grope Vera. Happy to meet you, Arcana. I'm Vera. Yep, give me a question. Okay, so what's our weapon? Alpha Aegis Cannon. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I have no pants, but I got a shield. Alright. Yep. I was sort of curious whether there would be a difference in this whole sort of combat thing as a medic, but. Medic only chakra strike. Catastrophic strike. Let's see. Let's attack. Okay, so. Well, I'm doing range damage. That's a nice critical effect. Training dummy, so it's not like after. Special attack here. Do another special attack. Oh my goodness, I'm using my mouse buttons. I, I have a. Uh, a Razor Naga mouse, which helps a little bit with the carpal tunnel and also gives me some nice little hot buttons if I feel like I need nice little hot buttons. very exciting, my uh, healing can cannon. It's got a little red cross on the back. Happy to meet you, Arcana. I'm Vera. So now I have Alpha Vestal Gloves. It's a Vestal, like, a Vestal Virgin? <laughs> no. Alright, let me get this done. We did that last time. Let's go talk to Laura. Nope, nope, back to Laura. Here we go. Eh, again. Oh, this this view isn't much better. Holy goodness gracious, this game. It's, you know, it's got some very interesting scenery, even though it doesn't... Okay, not, not that scenery. Let's get our minds out of the gutter. Uh, you know, it's it's got a very nice sci-fi look to it, which, you know, a lot of MMOs just go straight for the Tolkien knockoff fantasy, but... Nice to meet you. Let's Name's talk. Laura. I handle transfers on the surface. Alright, what she got to say other than, oh my goodness, glowing nipples. Very dangerous area, man. Very dangerous. Oh, thank you for letting me know I'm easily replaced. Fuck you, glowy nipples, lady. Oh no! It's being pirated by the Free Knights. I wonder if... 
You're playing as a free knight if it tells you it's being pirated by the royal whatever. Let's just keep going here. Nice to meet you. Name's Laura. I handle transfers on the surface. Yep. I'm very disappointed to find out that this is not actually just some lesbian utopia. Let's go. Let's go outside for once. They are eager to service your- Yeah, they, they, they look like they're from this game. Okay, this this is going back to that sort of distressing subtext of player as commander and Arcana as inhuman toy, but I think plenty has been written about that sort of uh, human sex bot relationship. Chat types, it's all very exciting. Uh huh. You can enter commands here to have your arcana perform certain actions. This is where it's probably best not to get carried away with the marriage analogy. Yeah, I really don't think I could have played the Sentinel for more than like five minutes without having to, to go scrub the film off. If you play this game and you play one of them, I am judging you. Just so you know. Oh no! I'm breaking up! No! A human me. Scourge beetles? Undead beer. So at this point, your character is talking to you, the player. It's, it's a little disturbing. It's a little, uh, I don't know, maybe these adult MMOs are all about that stuff. Let's just take a stop here and shoot up some beer. Oh, this time they're actually coming at me, no. Let me see. Yeah, while you're firing, you cannot really move. And there doesn't seem to be anything really to loot here that maybe because of the level we're at. How the, the game works. Here are royal guard sentries over here. Oh, look, they have signposts and little flowers. That's all very alien. Quest time. Come on, you big manly man. You're supposed to be the commander. Oh, now I really. You know, I, I think for part three, we may have to play the male. Oh, but let's see what happens. That's actually a very pretty little level up thing. Oh no, now it's the Twilight Beetles. Nothing worse than Twilighters, I know, right? Oh, okay. Since the collapse of the world, this has always been so. And it doesn't let you- I mean, I guess you can grab this, but just holding down the arrow does not continue scrolling. It's kind of annoying. Okay, let's root out some- let's root out some- 
Valkyrie knights that have infiltrated Nosia. Your first assignment is to clear the area of Twilight Beetles so she can pursue her work. I'd like to note, I looked up this welcome package thing while I was waiting for the half hour of patching that this needed, and apparently you get this great free welcome package that requires you to buy a whole lot of their fake money and then spend some of it. So that's free. Let's take a look. Oh goody! Level 3 shoes! Let's go find us some Twilight Beetles. I love level 3 shoes, man. Those are my favorite kind of shoes. It's not a bad looking area. I'm not exactly playing this on a great big gaming rig. It's really not bad looking. Look, we got some fallen buildings so you can see that this is all civilized. Oh, there's some volcano beetles. Oh, there's our twilight beetles. Our med I mean, I suppose it's nice that you can, uh, you have this offensive skill as a medic. It's just sort of interesting that, I mean, I, I'm not seeing any of my healing stuff yet, but you know, maybe that's something that just comes with pants. Maybe <laughs> that's something that comes along the same time as like pants. I mean, none of this stuff. This is this is pure first level stuff. None of this stuff is even hurting me at all. Well, guess we need to go further into the valley. And then, oh, we need we need to kill two more before we can get shoes, guys. So let's go kill. Two more of these, so we can get awesome shoes! Oh my god. I mean, I suppose it's Your gun is part of a shield that has a little cross on it. new outfit would go a long way. Wow. Well, let's take a look. Can I... Okay. Lingerie changed. Sitting here in awkward silence, pretending you're not looking at my butt. And then she makes sure her butt looks okay. Alright, let's close out of that. And <laughs> while the beetles wander around, let's take a look at our bag and see where are those shoes. Uh, hmm. Alright, well. So I can't use the- uh, Yep, requires level 3. Hey, let's give you stuff that you can't actually do. Let's take a look at these again. So I see that says the social tab of skill screen, because <laughs> setting is a skill. Oh, these are, these are nice. Uh, Pleasure to meet you. I'm your medic. Let's put these down here for a second. <laughs> it's not like this is a long-term relationship we're entering in here, right? Right. So let's try sitting. Alright. That's wonderful! <laughs> that didn't sound very enthusiastic. 
Pleasure to meet you. Menme, I'm you're your medic. You're failing me here. You're supposed to be perkier than this. <laughs> oh, okay. Talk to a spiral vine. Well, let's... Let's see. We're halfway to level 3. We have our nice standard XP bar on the bottom here. How much, just out of curiosity, when we shoot our medic gun... Oh my god, I took two damage. And it looks like you actually don't really get any XP from grinding. So that's that's kinda good and kinda bad, because sometimes you're at that point where you're at that last 5% before your level. level. Actually, I am gonna run down to these repair drones and then call it here for Minmay. Let's come back for part three and we will take a look at just how filthy the male character gets. See you then!